Hey everybody, this is JD Gaming back today with another dual video, this time featuring Psychics. If you are looking for something fun, this is kind of an example of what this deck can do. So I was actually playing against my brother and his new pet that he's uh, putting together right now. He's just waiting on one more card, Ritual Sanctuary from the Dragons of Legend Unleashed. But um, in the meantime, we decided to go test things out. So starting here, um, I went first and I literally had no big setup, no Curry Bandit, no Duality, no Witch, so I just set a big monster that ended up walling off. Um, his mills actually, he told me, weren't that horrible until he hit this uh, Ritual Sanctuary. Basically, this is going to be a great new card from the Dragons of Legends set. Uh, it's a field spell that says you can discard a spell card to add a light ritual monster or ritual spell from your deck to your hand. So you could think of Alexis's Cyber Angels, which it's designed for, or you could fetch Sephira, um, uh, and then you could get a bunch of free pluses off of that card, so that's a fun way to use that. Um, and then its second effect is you can shuffle any number of spells in your grave back into the deck to target a light fairy in your grave, so like Honest or Manju, um, as long as the level of that monster equals the uh, level or the number of spells that you shuffled back, and then you can just special summon that thing. You can only use each effect of this once per turn. So you know the spells wasn't uh, milling the spells wasn't a bad thing until he actually milled two of his ways of recycling said spells. So not the best game on his side, but um. We'll do more videos with his deck as well, because uh, I'm sure he'll want to test. Here, I wasn't actually planning on going for a Synchro 7, but I guess he did worry about that. Um, mainly, I was just trying to run into the Raiden with Psychic Commander's pseudo push, like the pseudo attack pump effect. But, I mean, he stopped me there with Valor as well, because he knows how Psychics play. Over here, he's getting some setup with the Jins that he can get free rituals off of. And then uh, he proceeds to go for Dark End. But Ghost Ogre is able to stop that card, which is much to his dismay, but um, it's just what it is. It needs to lose its attack in order to resolve, so since it doesn't have an attack value anymore, it can't do that. Uh, he does shuffle away my monster, which does slow me down for setup, so this next turn, all I can pretty much do is fetch a card, uh, which I do grab that Telekinetic Power Well, because it gives me a lot of big push opportunities later. Um, nothing set up in the grave yet for that, because you need level 2 Psychics, but, you know, when you have 21 under defense and can wall off a monster, I gambled, you know, he probably won't kill me right now. And sure enough, I go off. Pretty much the way this works is I bring out a level 2 monster from my hand, and that lets me go and, well, get his Valor. Um, I was trying to get just a level 3 tuner. These are both valid options here, but I did want to go Ghost Ogre in case he stopped me midway, because then I just have a good monster to sit on. Um... Stops that prematurely, which is kind of sad, but I am able to make a Librarian play. And usually, this type of setup, as you can see, it just works whether you have this, a Witch to bring that up, or if you just have multiple Esper Girls in the grave, you can usually do that with a normal Summoned Cleric as well. But pretty much, um, fetching Cleric from the deck with Teleport allows me to banish the Ghost Ogre as planned. The Power Well lets me sink for five, and then with Nishiria and Librarian, I draw one off Librarian, and then make the Librarian even stronger uh, into this big thing. So, unfortunately, he doesn't draw anything playable because now he draws a Ritual Sanctuary, but, you know, Naturia Beast blocks that, and even then, uh, he wouldn't have enough materials to go and summon his monster. So, that was the end of the game there. Uh, main thing I'd say to take away from this particular game isn't so much the other deck, because right now my brother is testing this thing out. We're working on it and seeing if we can make it better yet. Uh, but the main thing I'd say is uh, this is the type of thing psychics can do. Pretty much if you have a monster, it can be any variety of them. Um, you could just use your quick play power spells. They're pretty much all like soul charge, and you could just go for strings of synchro plays, kind of like this. I mean, this was when I got Valored, so imagine if after all of this, I had like another Ghost Ogre sitting on my board with all of this. These are just the kinds of plays that you can do with this deck, so psychics are quite explosive. It's just a matter of, can you actually survive long enough to do that? Um, it is, in theory, possible to play like Swift Scarecrows, maybe even Battle Faders. I'm not sure if that's better or if Construction Train Signal Red's better, but yeah, there are ways you can play defensively, but at that point you're playing just so uphill of a battle. I'm sure many of you rogue players have figured this out. If you play competitively, pretty much, if you're not playing one of the top decks, I mean, the top decks are there because they are just so much better at getting free cards and solving problems than many of the older decks that have gotten power creeped with time, and this is just one of those cases where you have to fight in the weirdest ways, teching things out where you don't want to, and give up 
parts of your core just so you can consistently hit the weaknesses of the top decks at the time. So realistically, I probably won't take Psychics as they are right now to a competitive scene, even Locals, anytime really soon. Doesn't mean I won't go back to Locals anytime soon, and it doesn't mean I won't be making this deck into something else, adapting it. It's a fun deck that you could play if you want something to shake things up. We'll say that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of the deck and some of its combos. Um, if I made any major misplays, I wasn't focusing too much on misplays today because I was just focused on, you know, getting some video example of what this deck can do. It's really hard against random opponents because of the speed and the fact that I did build this deck in particular for my metagame. So like it works pretty well at the slower tempos there. But if you're playing uh, locally or on dueling network, or I guess not dueling network dev pro now, it just isn't fast enough at the moment. So we'll either need some crazy defensive card, crazy speed up card, or just shelve this for now. Just play it for fun with friends. But it does work for that at least. This is JD Gaming. Hope you guys enjoyed once again, and I'll see you guys next time.